Hello, everyone. I'm Tim Benji, Artistic Director of the Los Angeles Theatre. And I'm here today to initiate a new programming series that we're trying out in this day of distancing and calling it Mishaps with Mora. And it features Mora O'Brien, one of our kind of favorite Central Vermont actors. He originally came here to work with us, I think, in uh, 1999? Yes. Yeah. And Mora has had a lot of misadventures in the theater backstage <laughs> that are just dying to be told. So this is the first installment of Mishaps with Mora. <laughs> Why did we start at the beginning? How did we first... Um, how did we first get to know each other? When, when was the first time? You... I think uh, I came up and did the VADA auditions. Yeah. So, so that was sort of the first mishap, <laughs> so to speak. Would you like to tell um, us about that? Sure. All right. So I had never been to Vermont. Um, so I drove up and, and uh, it was a blizzard. <laughs> I think it uh, started to snow on the way up and I had developed the flu. So I was, I was uh, taking sips of um, Robitussin DM, trying to, trying to maintain somewhat of a voice, and hoping to God that the voice would last for at least the two minutes of the audition. I get to Vada, and I am given a number on a, um, one of those stickies that you put on your clothes, except I had a velveteen dress on, and the adhesive didn't stick to it. So my number kept falling off. So I'm trying to get my number to stay on this dress and, um, and drinking cough medicine. And I go out into my two minute slot. And I don't know if you've done auditions like these before, but they're, they're very regimented. You get a two minute time slot. The minute you say your first word, the clock starts ticking. You only get two minutes, they'll stop you at the end of the two minute time period. So I had two monologues to do, a comic monologue and a Shakespeare monologue. So I, and this was up at St. Mike's, so I started to do the comic monologue and it was going really well and people were laughing and I crossed down stage and um, they had not brought the orchestra pit up all the way, so the stage had about a two-inch drop in it from the regular stage to the orchestra pit, and I didn't know that. So I kind of prat fell off the stage onto the <laughs> orchestra pit, but I didn't fall, so it was okay. But suddenly I was really off balance, and I looked down, and I had snapped the heel off my shoe. So meanwhile, don't forget the clock is ticking. So I'm still talking while all this is happening. So I continued to do my comic monologue and I took my shoes off and I held my broken shoe in one hand and the heel in the other and continued to do the comic monologue. And then I put the shoes aside and I, I uh, did my, my um, Shakespeare monologue and then I picked my broken shoes up and walked off the stage. And then I turned around and I looked downstage and my number on the little sticky was downstage center glued onto the stage. So I snuck back out on stage, assuming no one would see me, and I peeled my number off the stage and then I just walked off stage and I thought that was it. That was it. Couldn't have, couldn't have gotten any worse. Ah, so great talking to you. You too. <laughs> I wish I could give you a big hug. <laughs> Six foot hug. Six foot hug. So many shows, so many mishaps. <laughs>